Hi guys, here's Sabrina and welcome back to one of my classes. I'm really inspired by insects and animal worlds. I saw a ladybug and since it's common knowledge that they bring luckiness with you, I wanted to create one to be a uh, lucky. To do this project, we are going to use Autodesk Fusion 360. So let's open your program and let's start together with this new project. Step one. To create the body of the ladybug, we use one of the shapes we have in the Create section of the top menu of Autodesk Fusion 360. We select the sphere and we create it on the front plane. We set the diameter of the sphere at 50 mm, which is about 2 inches. We create now a new sketch on the front plane again using the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that cuts in two halves the shape of the sphere. We are going to cut away the bottom part using the extrude tool to make the body of the ladybug and create a flat base. Select now the extrude tool and set as direction two sides to be able to cut in both the direction. Now, just drag the arrows until you see in the preview you cut all the sphere volume. Make sure to set the operation to cut. Step 2. To create the head, we use again the same sphere tool we just used for the body. We create a new sphere on the front plane. In this way it will be aligned with the body and we set the diameter at 20 mm. Make sure to have all the head volume above the ground level defined by the flat base of the body. Set the operation to join in case the head is in the correct position. Step 3. To create the typical dots of the ladybug we use again the sphere tool. We create a new sphere on the front plane. In this phase, doesn't really matter which dimension you are setting for the sphere diameter. What's important is to set the operation new body, because we will move the sphere using the Move tool in the Modify section of the top menu. Move the sphere using the arrows until a thin slice of it appears out of the body of the ladybug, and make sure that the rest of the sphere doesn't come out from the bottom, making the base not flat anymore. We keep repeating these operations until we fill all the body of the ladybug with dots. Play with different dimensions of the sphere and with different positions to create your own personal ladybug. Step 4. To create the antennas, we use a cylinder shape in the Create section of the top menu. Make the cylinder 3 mm in diameter and 20 mm high. Make sure to set once again the operation new body. Using the move tool now, we rotate the cylinder using the arrows and move it in a more appropriate position on the head of the ladybug. We create now the tip of the antenna using again the sphere tool. Move the sphere using the move tool like we did before until you put it in the correct position on the top of the cylinder. Make sure to merge the volumes of this element with the volume of the head of the ladybug to connect them. We create the second antenna using the mirror tool in the create section of the top menu. Make sure to set as pattern type pattern bodies and then select the cylinder and the sphere of the antenna. Set as mirror plane the left plane and check the preview if everything is ok and our cute ladybug is ready. Step 5. We save the project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud as Ladybug. Now right click on the name that just appeared on the top of the left menu to open the secondary menu and select Save as STL to be able to 3D print your creation. Now that you have your own ladybug, you will have a lot of lucky in your life. Get inspired by everything around you to create other amazing designs. Don't forget to upload your creations on kirakira.com and share it with the community. Bye!